Thank you for tuning in to Ribley Forex Education Channel. This video is for complete beginners who are interested in trading for an exchange. Hello and welcome. My name is, Avnolo. In this video we are going to be discussing candlestick charts. What is a candlestick? Candlestick is a tool used to describe the price movement during the given time frame. Candlesticks are formed using the open, high, low and close also known as OHLC. Traditionally, if the block in the middle is filled or colored in, then the currency pair closed lower than it opened. In the following example, the filled color is black. For our filled blocks, the top of the block is the opening price, and the bottom of the block is the closing price. If the closing price is higher than the opening price, then the block in the middle will be white or hollow or unfilled. But this is not a rule that it needs to be black and white. Generally a lot of traders don't like to use the traditional black and white candlesticks, so they change them to suit their desired look. But the color doesn't matter really, it's the information that the candlestick provides that matters. But for this video we will use the traditional black and white. The description of the candles can be easily explained as follow. 1. The fill part of the candlestick is called the real body. 2. The thin lines poking above and below the body are called shadows or wicks or tails. 3. The top of the upper shadow is the high 4. The bottom of the lower shadow is the low. Candlesticks have different body sizes. Long and short long bodies refer to strong buying or selling pressure. If there is a candlestick in which the close is above the open with a long body, this indicates that buyers are stronger, and they are taking control of the market during this period of time. Conversely, if there is a bearish candlestick in which the open is above the close with a long body, this means that the selling pressure controls the market during this chosen time frame. A long candle also signifies high market volatility. Short and small bodies indicate a little buying or selling activity. A short candle also signifies low market volatility. Long wicks The upper and lower wicks give us important information about the trading session. Upper wicks signify the session high. Lower wicks signify the session low. Candlesticks with long wicks show that trading action occurred well past the open and close. Candlesticks with short wicks indicate that most of the trading action was confined near the open and close. If a candlestick has a longer upper wick and short lower wick, this means that buyers flexed their muscles and bid price higher. But for one reason or another, sellers came in and drove price back down to end the session back near its open price. If a candlestick has a long lower wick and short upper wick, this means that sellers flashed their washboard abs and forced price lower. But for one reason or another buyer came in and drove prices back up to end the session back near its open price. What are the advantages of candlesticks? 1. Contain unprocessed and raw data about the market sentiments. 2. Provide unique insights on the relationship between the buyers and sellers. 3. Give early signals of potential market turns. Candlestick Patterns Candlestick patterns are one of the most powerful trading concepts, they are simple, easy to identify, and very profitable setups. A research has confirmed that candlestick patterns have a high predictive value, and can produce positive results. In this video we are not going to introduce you to the holy grail. But in fact a trading system that works, but also be prepared to lose some trades, losing is a part of the business. If you are looking for a 100% winning system, we highly recommend you to stop trading and go look for another business. Candlestick patterns is language used in the Forex market, imagine you are living in a foreign country and you don't speak the language. How could you live if you can't even say a word? It's tough, right? It's the same thing when it comes to trading. If you know how to read candlestick patterns the right way, you will be able to understand what these patterns tell you about the market dynamics and the trader's behavior. The candlestick patterns that we are going to go through are the most important patterns that you will find in the market, in this video, we won't show you how to trade them, because this will be explained in more details in a later video. What you should focus on is the anatomy of the pattern and the psychology behind its formation, because this will help you get the skill of identifying easily any pattern you find in the market, and understand what it tells you to do next. The candlestick pattern we are going to decipher is, engulfing bar pattern. The engulfing bar is formed when it fully engulfs the previous candle. 
the engulfing bar can engulf more than one previous candle, but to be considered an engulfing bar, at least one candle must be fully consumed. There are two types of engulfing bar, which are bearish engulfing bar and bullish engulfing bar. Bullish engulfing bar are found in preceding downtrend, a short black candle, followed by a longer bullish white candle. The white candle opens lower and closes higher than the black candle completely engulfing the previous candle. The psychology is the bears pull the price all the way down following a prolonged downtrend. Then the bulls open price below the low of previous bearish move, suggesting continuation of bearish force. The bears then lose momentum, the bulls take charge and lead the price up, and eventually manage to close above the previous candle. The bulls have now fully overridden the bears. Bearish engulfing bar found in preceding uptrend a short white candle, followed by a longer bearish black candle. The black candle open higher and closes lower than the white candle completely engulfing the previous candle. The psychology is the bulls push the price all the way up following a prolonged uptrend. Then the bears open price above the high of previous bullish move, suggesting continuation of bullish force. The bulls then lose momentum, the bears take charge and lead the price down, and eventually manage to close below the previous candle. The bears have now fully overridden the bulls. You can not only use candlestick pattern to trade that you find on your chart, you will also need other technical tools to confirm your entries. We will discuss this in more details in a later video. Right now, pause the video and open your charts and try to identify bullish and bearish, engulfing candlestick patterns on charts. The next candlestick pattern we are going to decipher is, the doji pattern. Doji is one of the most important candlestick patterns, when this candlestick forms, it tells us that the market opens and closes at the same price, which means that there is equality and indecision between buyers and sellers, there is no one in control of the market. It's found in uptrend or downtrend and looks like a cross. The psychology is the bears pull the price all the way down on the opening, resulting in a long body. Then the bulls push price all the way past opening price, resulting in a long top body, leaving a long wick at the bottom. Then the bears pull price back to the same price where it opened, leaving two long wicks on both sides. Remember always that a doji indicates equality and indecision in the market, you will often find it during periods of resting after big moves higher or lower. When it is found at the bottom or at the top of a trend, it is considered as a sign that a prior trend is losing its strength. The next candlestick pattern to decipher is, the Dragonfly Doji pattern. Part of the Doji family, the Dragonfly Doji, is a bullish candlestick pattern which is formed when the open high and close are the same or about the same price. It's found in preceding downtrend and looks like a T letter has little to no real body. The psychology is the bears pull the price all the way down on the opening, resulting in a long body. Then the bulls push price all the way back up to the same price where it opened. The formation of the dragonfly doji with the long lower tail, shows us that there is a high buying pressure in the area. If you can identify this candlestick pattern on your chart, it will help you visually see when support and demand are located. As we said before you cannot trade candlestick pattern alone, you will need other indicators and tools to determine high probability dragonfly doji signals in the market. The next candlestick pattern to decipher is, the gravestone doji pattern. Also part of the doji family, the gravestone doji, is the bearish version of the dragonfly doji, it is firmed when the open and close are the same or about the same price. It's found in preceding uptrend and looks like an inverted T letter. Has little to no real body. The psychology is the bulls push the price all the way up on the opening, resulting in a long body. Then the bears pull price all the way back up to the same price where it opened. The formation of this candlestick pattern indicates that buyers are no longer in control of the market. For this pattern to be reliable, it must occur near a resistance or supply level. As a trader, you will need additional information about the placement and context of the gravestone doji, to interpret the signal effectively. Pause the video and open your charts and try to identify all the doji candlestick patterns on charts. The next candlestick pattern to decipher is, the hammer or bullish pin bar pattern. The hammer candlestick is created when the open high and close are roughly the same price, it is also characterized by a long lower shadow, that indicates a bullish rejection from buyers, and their intention to push the market higher. It's found in preceding downtrend and looks like a square lollipop. The real body could be white or black, it has no little upper wick. The wick is twice the length of the real body. The psychology is the bears pull the price all the way down on the opening, resulting in a long body. Then the bulls push price close to the opening price level where it opened forming a small square. 
the longer the wick the more effective the bull is signal, telling us the bulls can take control. The most important to understand is the psychology behind the formation of this pattern, if you can understand how and why it was created, you will be able to predict the market direction with high accuracy. The next candlestick pattern to decipher is, the shooting star or bearish pin bar pattern, the shooting formation is formed when the open low, and close are roughly the same price, this candle is characterized by a small body and a long upper shadow. It is the bearish version of the hammer. Professional technicians say that the wick should be twice the length of the real body. It's found in preceding uptrend and looks like an inverted square lollipop. The real body could be green or red, it has no little lower wick. The wick is twice the length of the real body. The psychology is the bears push the price all the way up on the opening, resulting in a long body. Then the bears pull price close to the opening price level where it opened forming a small square. The longer the wick the more effective the bearish signal, telling us the bears can take control. This candlestick pattern can be used with support and resistance, supply and demand areas, and with technical indicators. The shooting star is very easy to identify, and it is very profitable, it is one of the most powerful signals that I use to enter the market. The next candlestick pattern to decipher is, the Harami pattern. The Harami pattern, Harami means, pregnant in Japanese, is considered as a reversal and continuation pattern, and it consists of two candlesticks. The first candle is the large candle, it is called the mother candle, followed by a smaller candle which is called the baby. For the Harami pattern to be valid, the second candle should close outside the previous one. This candlestick is considered as a bearish reversal signal when it occurs at the top of an uptrend, and it is a bullish signal when it occurs at the bottom of a downtrend. As you see the smaller body is totally covered by the previous mother candle, don't bother yourself with the colors, the most important is that the smaller body closes inside of the first bigger candle. The Harami candle tells us that the market is in an indecision period. In other words, the market is consolidating. So, buyers and sellers don't know what to do, and there is no one in control of the market. When this candlestick pattern happens during an uptrend or a downtrend, it is interpreted as a continuation pattern which gives a good opportunity to join the trend. And if it has occurred at the top of an uptrend or at the bottom of a downtrend, it is considered as a trend reversal signal. This pattern later gave birth to the next following candlestick patterns the morning and evening star. The next candlestick pattern to decipher is, the morning star pattern. Morning star pattern is considered as a bullish reversal pattern, it often occurs at the bottom of a downtrend, and it consists of three candlesticks. The first candlestick is bearish, which indicates that sellers are still in charge of the market. The second candle is a small one which represents that sellers are in control, but they don't push the market much lower, and this candle can be bullish or bearish. The third candle is a bullish candlestick that gapped up on the open and closed above the midpoint of the body of the first candle, this candlestick holds a significant trend reversal signal. The morning star pattern shows us how buyers took control of the market from sellers, when this pattern occurs at the bottom of downtrend near a support level, it is interpreted as a powerful trend reversal signal. The next candlestick pattern to decipher is, the evening star pattern. The evening star pattern is considered as a bearish reversal pattern that usually occurs at the top of an uptrend. The pattern consists of three candlesticks. The first candle is a bullish candle, the second candle is a small candlestick, it can be bullish or bearish, or it can be a doji or any other candlestick. The third candle is a large bearish candle. In general, the evening star pattern is the bearish version of the morning star pattern. The next candlestick pattern to decipher is, the tweezers top and bottom pattern. The tweezers top formation is considered as a bearish reversal pattern seen at the top of an uptrend. And the tweezers bottom formation is interpreted as a bullish reversal pattern seen at the bottom of a downtrend. Now that you got some information about candlesticks, you know the anatomy of each candlestick and the psychology behind its formation, go back to your charts and test your knowledge, and see if you still remember all of the candlesticks we talked about. Do this homework over and over again. You will see that with screen time and practice, you will be able to look at your charts, and understand what the candlesticks tell you about the market. 
don't worry about how to enter and exit the market for the moment, take your time, and try to master the candlestick patterns discussed in this video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video please hit the thumbs up button. And if you want videos like this please hit the subscribe and bell button below, you will be notified when a new video is uploaded.